All right, let's get into it. So today, we're going to be replacing the oil filter housing, which is right there. This little piece right here, gonna be replacing that, and also the ignition coil. So hopefully, um, the ignition coil is why it's not turning over, and then the oil filter housing is why it's pouring oil everywhere. And also for future stuff, we are going to be removing the smog pump and the 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 rail, the air rail, with all this, with all the hoses and stuff, um, just to make the engine bay a little bit cleaner. Um, Cause, I mean, naturally these things just look like a mess, like as you can see. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So first up, let's get the oil drain. So I got the car jacked up, oil pan ready, and let's get this oil out. So while the oil was draining down there, I came up top and undid that banjo bolt right there um, to the filter housing and then um, took that off. Yep, you see it right there. And then now let's go back underneath and attach what we need to. I can't really get a good shot um, from underneath because of the oil in the way. But if you look right through here, you see that socket right there? There's a bolt. It's a 19 mil underneath and I'll put a picture in up so you can see it and uh, we're just loosening that and hopefully this thing will come off so I'll get back to you all right so finally got the bolt out and um it is out but now gotta get the rest of this thing out so um if you look at the new one it's just one bolt right sorry it's just one bolt that holds it and uh that's it so should should be able to um just wiggle it out so that's what i'm gonna try to do um i might get like a rubber mallet or something and uh see if we can all right don't got a rubber mallet but let's uh, see if we can just start gentle she's got a hammer i know it's like all this stuff's in the way So let's see if we can. Yep, it's coming out. It's a nice little, it's a nice little taps. Should do it. Hopefully. Sorry guys, I don't got my bro with me, so it's just me solo today. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, so that's it. Right there, look at that. So, that little tiny chip, whoops, right here. It's causing that, all that oil, oil to leak, crazy. So with that out, let's get the new one in. This is the bolt that goes underneath. So it's a 19 mil. So pretty good amount of threads. So uh, I'm gonna start it from up top and then go down there and uh, finish it. I feel like it should be catching, but there we go. Yep. Okay, cool. So now that it's started, I'm going to go till I can't no more. Okay. So now let's transfer down to the bottom and then finish it out. So got that um, snug up down there. Now let's get this, uh, let's get this, <laughs> where's that? This is banjo bolt in right here. So this banjo bolt. See, it's a, it's a pretty hefty one. You're going to have two cross washers. You're going to have the one on the bolt and the one that goes on the other side. 
So let's um let's start. Alright, so now let's use, I just use an adjustable wrench to loosen it, so use an adjustable wrench to tighten it. So I was thinking, the banjo bolt has to be facing the right direction in order for the oil to flow. And how am I going to tell it's in, the, it's in the right way, you know what I mean? So I'm, uh, I don't know, maybe there's something I don't know that I'm not doing. But what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna take it back off, and then I'm gonna mark where the banjo holes are at, and then go from there. So, you live and learn. So what I did guys, I literally, I just, I don't know if you'll be able to see it all. Let me try to, try to get you in. So I, I put scratch marks right here. I don't know if it's focused. I put scratch marks on either side where the banjo holes were at, and that's what signified where they were. We drained the oil, and then we took the old filter housing off, put the old or new filter housing on, and now we're gonna put the oil back in. I'm struggling with this oil filter right now, dude. I can't get it to um to line up straight. It's pretty embarrassing, honestly. Oh boy. So I uh, got that on. So now let's um let's change out this distributor. So 12 volt ballasted distributor and uh let's um switch it out real quick. All right, let's see what we got here. So we got got this to the bottom one. Okay, so So I had to change something from the old coil to the new coil. So on the old coil, it had two of these female. Focus of these female, and the new one had all um, male connections. So I have to switch over to female um, to the new coil. But first, I want to clean these because they're pretty dirty. So back in clean. So now let's um, get these connections on the coil. Get the coil back on the car. All right, so got the coil, oil filter housing, oil filter on, oil back in the car. And guys, I'm not, I am so scared to try to start it <laughs> because I don't want anything bad to happen. Um, uh, so <laughs> let's see what happens. All right, the moment of truth. I am really, really nervous. I just hate doing things over again, especially like when I tried to do them the right way. 
but uh how can you tell ah. all right let's get it here we go moment of truth i'm just gonna do like a i'm just gonna turn it on here the fuel pump and then try to try to start it and then just turn it off fuel pumps on <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's any leaks. Okay, so far we look good. I honestly don't know if I'm getting spark. Um, I know I'm getting fuel. Obviously, I'm not even getting air. Don't know if I'm getting spark. Chokes on. Um, I might spray with a little ether. Try to get bump or just try to get a jump. We'll see. Still looking for leaks. Hoping for some sign of it wanting to to go. Fuel pump. What we got? Okay, thankfully, no oil leak as far as I can tell. But still, I'm not getting any any signs of it. You know, trying to turn over. Um, I don't have anyone here to try to test to see if I do have spark. But uh, it's still working. Make something happen.